Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be filming a haul. Mostly clothing, but there's a little bit of makeup sprinkled in at the end. Um, I ordered things online. Ooh, there's a hair. From Zaffel and Shein and they both got here in the past couple days and then I also have a couple things that I bought for bought from garage and then yeah the makeup at the end I'm sorry if the lighting is a little bit off I tried opening up my window and it looks worse for some reason so I'm sorry about that I have all my lights on that I possibly could so I'm sorry if it looks weird anyways make sure that you follow me on my instagram and twitter which will be right there and in the description box below and make sure you subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see next from me okay so we're just going to start off with garage i only got two things here my friend and i went here um a couple days before halloween because we were going out on the saturday before halloween and we needed to find things for a costume. We didn't really know what we were going to be, but we ended up just being pretty basic and being a de devil and an angel. But what I bought for that was just this bodysuit. It's super nice. Oh, this is going to be a try-on haul because I don't like hauls unless they're a try-on haul. Um, but it's pretty basic. I really like the fit of this. It was super comfortable and like... It doesn't show too much, so if you're not, like, into the scandalous kind of bodysuits, then this would be the one for you. I think this is on sale for about $10. When I went, it was a 40% off sale that weekend. Like, off of everything. So I also got this hoodie. I mean, I have a million sweaters and hoodies, so I really didn't need another one. But I got one anyways. It's just this one. It's kind of like vintage. Not vintage, but vintage with the like ribbon thingy bobbers there. It's kind of like a school, like varsity kind of thing. And I got this for $19. I don't know how much it is regularly, but I got it in a small. And same with the bodysuit. Now I'm just going to show you the stuff that I got from Zaffle. Um, I'm in a really boring class at school, astronomy, and I thought it'd be super interesting, like learning about stars, but it's actually super boring. So I tend to look at like Sephora and online shopping kind of stuff during that class because I get so bored. So that's what happened with these, but I just got this cropped sweater just like frayed at the bottom and the top and it's just like a one size thing I'm gonna find the prices for all the stuff online one second all right so when I ordered this stuff there was also a sale going on so keep that in mind but that black sweater thing was $20 but I think it's usually more expensive than that and then I just got this bodysuit. It's super cute and it has like the caging in the back. Um, the only con though is like it doesn't have the snap for the bottom body part of the bodysuit. So that's really inconvenient. But this was eleven thirty six, So that's a pretty good price. Um, it's a little thin. So I wouldn't wear this like without a bra, but I just have like a stick on bra that I would wear this with. So, yeah. So basically this one is cut way too close on the side boob that my nipple's about to hang out. So probably would not recommend this one. And then I just wanted free shipping. So I got these rings that were $3.33. Um, I don't know if these are meant to be, I'm looking at my computer by the way, I don't know if these are meant to be, um, 
midi rings, but that's all they fit on me. So, or my pinky. But yeah, I don't know. They're like, there's 10 rings for $3. This is my favorite one. There, oh, well, there's two that are pretty much the same. There's those two. Sorry, my nails are disgusting. I am too cheap to get acrylics anymore. Um, that's what it's like being a broke college student. I don't know if that'll help the focus, but this one's an elephant, but you can't really tell. I don't know what that one's supposed to be, and this one's just blank. But I think they're really cute, and I'm not... I don't wear rings a lot, but I'm trying to get more into dressing not like a slob, but it's not really working out today. I wear a hoodie and jeans, as I normally do to school. So it's a work in progress. Okay, so that's all I got from Zaffle, and now I'm going to go into Shein. This is my first time ordering from them, so I didn't really know what to expect. But again, I kind of was just looking during class and then I found a couple things some of these things I wanted for Halloween because my roommate and our other friend were going to be devils originally and then my other friend and I decided to be a devil and angel way after that but I ordered this stuff hoping it would come in on by Halloween but it didn't but I wasn't like super upset I ended up going as Post Malone and it was really funny and I got lots of compliments and lots of people liked it, so it didn't really matter. But here's what I got from Shein. I ended up spending only $58, and I got three bodysuits, a skirt, a necklace, and scrunchies, so I think that's pretty dang good. Okay, so the first thing I got is this bodysuit, and I'm kind of sad. I probably should have realized that it was all see-through, but on the website, it doesn't look completely see-through. Um, but it's this really cute bodysuit, and then you just tie these into little bows. Super cute. Also, isn't Snap on here, on the, but I didn't really expect it to be just because it was all lace, you know? But it's super cute, and it was, like, calling me for so long. I kept seeing it as an ad everywhere, and it was just like, buy me, buy me. I love this color. So, super excited to wear this, but I'll just have to figure out what to do with the boob area. And this so one. So, I didn't try this one on because it is absolutely completely see through and there's nothing I can do to make it like look appropriate. So, I'm gonna sell it. So, I'm not sure if I'm gonna sell it on like one of the apps or just to a Plato's closet so we'll see I'll let you guys know what happens 10 24 in US or 13 to 50 in Canadian which is what I am those garage ones were in Canadian but the Zaffle was in US so there's that then this was one of the options for my Halloween costume just this red bodysuit with kind of an open back thing and it has the buttons they're plastic ones so I'm a little scared they'll break because I'm not very careful but I'm sure if I'm careful they'll be fine um this is pretty thin I can see through it but I'm hoping it'll be fine like when I'm wearing a bra and stuff We'll see when I try it on. I haven't tried any of this stuff on, honestly. Oh, except for that Zaffle stuff. And, well, I tried on the Zaffle sweater because I was going to wear it. And it stunk. So I have to wash it before I wear it because it smelled really gross. But, yeah. This was eleven seventy in Canadian and eight eighty eight in US. So, uh, this is, oh, size so both... Body suits were size small. Then the final bodysuit is a little scandalous. This was also for the 
devil costume this was most likely what I was gonna wear but yeah I didn't get to so it's just this bodysuit and it's crisp crisscross in the back and it has the snaps again plastic I just prefer when they're metal but even the metal ones break sometimes so it'll be fine but yeah it's a little more scandalous so I don't know when I'm actually gonna wear this but that's okay it was $13.50 Canadian and $10.24 in US size small So, last clothing item, I got this super cute skirt that I was so excited about, and this is what I was going to wear on Halloween with either bodysuit. So cute, but it's supposed to lace up, um, and I didn't know I would have to lace it up myself, but it just came up like that, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. It's so cute. I love it, but I don't really know... I don't wear skirts or dresses very often, and I thought Halloween was like a perfect excuse, so I'll figure out when I can wear this, because I don't really go anywhere except for school <laughs> and home, so that was $16.20 Canadian and $12.29 in US, size small. Unfortunately, this skirt doesn't really fit, it doesn't zip up all the way, and it's really impossible to pull up. But the bodysuit is great. And then, again, I just wanted free shipping. So I got this necklace. It's just like all circle. I need to wear more necklaces and jewelry, like I was saying. And this is kind of just like a cheap one that I could wear every day you know so I got this and it was only 90 cents Canadian and 68 cents and American so I just got that and then I just need like a couple more dollars for shipping so I got these scrunchies I don't really wear scrunchies a lot but I only have one other one because I was also trying to get a deal in at garage one time and I just spend like two dollars but they're just like satiny and they're like really adorable so even if I just like wore it on my wrist it'd be so cute um it was 270 Canadian and 205 American and that is all that I got from she in and now I'm just gonna show you the little bit of makeup that I got okay so sorry if the angles different it might not be at all but I got really scared because I thought someone was in my place and my roommate's gone so there shouldn't have been but there was not so we're good or good cheap um so yeah here's the makeup that I got um I just got just realized I got the wrong thing um, so I know these have been out for a while, but my Walmart in my hometown just got the extended shade range of the Fit Me concealer. And if you ever watch any of my makeup videos, this is my go-to number one concealer. Um, the furnace just came on, so sorry if you can hear that because I know you guys can. Um, so finally, they have a shade five that is brightening, brightening enough, or like white enough to brighten underneath my eyes. Um, I've been using shade 15, which is lighter than shade 10 still, even when they did more on the shade range, but still weird um so this one actually highlights for me and i'm super pumped about that because i haven't really had one be able to highlight underneath my eyes since i am so pasty white um and then from sephora i don't think i've shown this on my channel i was going to 
but I don't think I have filmed a video since I got these. But I got the Born This Way. It is just the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in shade Swan. And I was a little worried about getting this because, you know, it's expensive concealer. And also, I'm shade Swan in the foundation. But this is lighter than the foundation and the lady at Sephora told me that um, they made them just a little bit lighter. Thank goodness, because this does highlight underneath my eyes. The only thing is, um, you don't need a lot whatsoever. I also find you don't need very much with this one anymore, but maybe because it's highlighting now, I don't know. But also, it doesn't work with my new favorite powder, which is the new, mm, the third new thing that I got. And it's the Hourglass Veil Transluc Translucent Setting Powder. This works be so good with this, and they're both highlighting, so it's perfect. They look so good together. But when I put these two together, um, this tends to go a little yellow or something. I'm not really sure, but they're okay together. But this is what I would recommend if you have really dry under eyes like me. I have not noticed my eyes being dry or patchy or anything since I started using these two together. I used to use the Laura Mercier one um, powder, but it just does not work for if you have dry skin or dry under eyes. I haven't really tried this much all over my face. I'm a little scared too. Yeah, if you have dry skin, use this because it's, it's the only one that I have noticed is good. I was really scared to buy this this is just a travel size that's why I was um I was gonna buy the big size because I didn't know they had a travel size and then I was in line and I found it in like the little part that of all the travel makeup that gets you every time so I just got this um but I would get the bigger size the only thing is I do find I need to use more of this than I ever did with the Laura Mercier but I'm okay with it it works so a lot better so I'll just take it okay so that is all for my haul I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe if you did I really appreciate it if you do give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see like I keep saying uh, I need ideas <laughs> because I want to film a lot more um, but I just need some ideas of what you guys actually want to see um, follow my Instagram and Twitter, which will be right here and in the description box below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!